Hello everybody and welcome to my basic tutorial to show how to play Highlander the card game on Tabletop Simulator. In order to use the program the first thing that you have to do is to download Steam and then purchase Tabletop Simulator. Tabletop Simulator costs £15 in the UK and is about $20 US. Once you have purchased Tabletop Simulator, in order to find the Highlander module, it's fairly straightforward. Just type in Highlander the card game, Tabletop Simulator into Google. That will take you to the workshop page and very simply, you then just subscribe. Having done that, you then launch Tabletop Simulator and you'll get the following start page. Very simply then just click on create, single player and you will notice in your workshop area there is Highlander the card game which is what you've subscribed to. So then simply click on that in order to load it. Take just a couple of seconds to load. So as you can see, Highlander table there with clock for timing games, basic rules there, and several pouches around the table, and also a Connor and Kurgan starter deck. So what I'll do to start with is I'll just go through um, the basics of gameplay first and then show you how you can create your own deck. So I'm going to use one of the starter decks as an example and I'm going to just use the Kurgan. So let's take the Kurgan and put that into onto the table. So very simply just click on the Kurgan, Kurgan deck and then drag that into the centre of the table and then just turn it around so that it is facing you. Probably do a bit better job than I have there. So, and enlarge the cards so that you can see them. Simply do that by, by hovering over the card deck and then just press the plus button on your keypad and it will enlarge in the cards. Okay, so if we take the top card off, that's the Kurgan Persona card. And also the Kurgan's Weapon of Choice. Now if you want to see what those cards do, very, very simply, you just right click on the card. And then go down to the flip button there. And it will turn the card over and you can actually see the Kurgan's Persona power. Now in order to make that clear, because obviously you can't read that, just press the Alt button on your keypad. And there it comes up and it shows all there is to know about, about the Kurgan. Similarly with the Kurgan's Weapon of Choice, right click on it. Flip it, press the Alt key and you can see exactly what the Kurgan's broadsword, 200 broadsword actually does. Let's move those out of the way. And then you have got 50 cards from the Kurgan deck face down on the table. Now, we're ready now to show a sample hand. So in order to do that, first thing that we will need to do is to shuffle our deck. And again, you right click and just shuffle. And shuffle again, and shuffle again. Then, in order to deal a hand of 15, and you've got your ability counter here, which you can 
increase or decrease. Then just very simply right click on the deck and then draw your cards. So one, two, three, four, five, six. up to 15. Again, as the, so that is your hand of cards. Now that will, the, your opponent on the other side of the table won't be able to see those. He'll just see the backs of, of the cards. So it's perfectly fine. And if you want to have a look at what a, what a card does in your deck in more detail, then just again, hover over the card, press the Alt button, and the card will, will come up in front of you. So let's say then that I want to um, play that card and quite simply just click on it and then drag that onto the table. And similarly, a tap card, drag that, onto, oops, drag that onto the table as well. And then obviously to redraw, Now, say later on in the game, uh, quite a lot of the Highlander game, uh, you want to do exertions. Very straightforward. Again, all you would do with that is quite simply take top cards. Say it'll be a three card exertion. Just take the three cards off the top of the deck. And then in this instance, just drag and cover them. Like so, they're all highlighted, and then simply just flip them, and they will and they will turn over, like so. So that's really basic gameplay um, in terms of uh, playing cards, and really, I would guess the um, thing that you'll need to do really, if you want to play this seriously, just just have 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 a play with it. So that. shows you how to do basic gameplay using tabletop simulator it is very very straightforward so let's just get rid of the uh, get rid of these cards then let's again drag that there and let's delete them all let's give us a bit of space Now, let's say now I want to create a deck. So how do I go about doing that? Well, let's say that I want to create a Krista deck. Now, Krista is one of the immortals in the Versus set. And if you look at the pouches here, there you've got 12 Versus decks. And here you've got the generic cards that you would want, Season 1 Immortals, Weapon of Choice cards, and so on. OK, so let's say that I actually want to have a look at Krista's cards. So she's a Versus Set Immortal. So let's go to the Versus Set pouch. Right click on it and then press on Search. That then brings up all of the Versus Immortals that I've put into the set. So we're interested in Krista. So let's just get Krista, left click on it, and then just drag that onto the table. Now that will take a little bit of time to load up as it gets it from the server. But uh, you see that you've got all of the cards then from Krista. So let's have a look at those. Very straightforward again. You've got... Um, Persona card, plus one, and her weapon of choice. Now, if I actually want to build a deck, I'll actually want to see what the cards are. So let's flip those over. 
So again, right click on it and just flip them over. And there I will have all of the cards in the, the Crystal deck. Now, if I want to actually create a deck, what I can do is very straightforwardly, say I want this card, which is Mixing Styles Chinese Deo card, then very simply, if I want to copy those, I would just right click on it, copy, then right click on it and space there, and then just paste it. And then I can create a deck of cards using the ones that I want. So yeah, I want some of those. Say I want, let's get some actual crystal cards. Okay. So let's say tying up loose ends. that into the deck. Let's have a couple of those. And so, so on. So let's say that I've built my, I've now built my deck. Let's say, let's just move that out of the way. So let's say that's my deck. And let's put my weapons of choice. Then if I right click on it, you can see that you can actually name your deck if you wish to. So just click on that. This is my Krista deck of death. Well, oh, not B deck of deck, but deck of death. My Krista deck of death so that's its description so if I put that over the top of it now it becomes my Krista deck of death and then all I need to do then is to save it so then what I would do there is just right click on it and it says save object and then quite simply In order to get that back, very straightforwardly, I would just go into Objects, Saved Objects, and you will see there that my Krista Deck of Death has been saved there. And then quite simply, I would just drag it onto the table and it will download and is now ready to play. Right, well that gives you a very quick and a very brief um, starter uh, on how to play um, Highlander the card game on Tabletop Simulator. I've played it a couple of times now and it really, really is fun. A Highlander the card game, in my opinion, is the best card game out there. Trouble is, it is difficult to find other players to play against because the players are geographically spread out. And so using this, obviously, you don't have to leave your living room. And it's sometimes quite difficult to get products. So you can actually see exactly what cards you want in order to get them. I hope you've enjoyed the video. It's the very first video I've ever done. So uh, give me favourable comments and hopefully uh, look forward to playing you soon. Don't lose your head. Thanks for watching.